It's the Daily Dog. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today on a Wednesday. We are halfway into the first full week of 2022, and things are already popping here at the Daily Dog. I am glad that you are here because we are going back to music by the band Queen. It has been quite a while since we've uh, listened to some music by Queen here on the channel, and I am very eager to dive into this selection today because... Before, a few weeks ago, I had no idea that this song or this album even existed. And so thanks to our friend Janine on Facebook who sent this one in, uh, the request is A Winter's Tale by Queen. This is a, a song from an album of theirs called Made in Heaven, their 15th and final studio album released in 1995, four years after Freddie Mercury tragically passed away. And I've spot checked this. Freddie is on the recording. And so uh, I did some reading in to try to figure out what's going on here. I didn't even know. I mean, 1995, I was graduating high school. I should have been listening to this. And I had no idea, even to almost to this day, that this even existed. So I'm very interested to hear this. Uh, apparently, this song and much of the music on this album was uh, written after their Innuendo sessions, Innuendo being their album released in 1991. And during this time, Freddie Mercury was in the hospital uh, in Montreux, Switzerland, and the lyrics that he wrote here uh, describe what he saw outside his hospital window. It's, it's so endearing, right? And uh, just tragic when you think about the circumstances. And sadly, this would be the last song that Freddie composed on his own. And, uh, you know, so Freddie wrote the lyrics and music and recorded the lyrics and the keyboards in the recording. And apparently he had decided to perform uh, the piano and vocals in one live take at the studio, which was uh, rare, according to what I'm reading, because Freddie normally insisted on uh, the musical arrangement being completed before he would then go in and add his vocals. But apparently he recognized that he didn't have much time left. And so he goes into the recording studio on a day where he has enough energy and lays down the piano and the vocals uh, all at once. And then posthumously, uh, Brian May on guitars, uh, Roger Taylor on the drums, and John Deacon on the bass, they worked with Freddie's uh, recording and added their instrumentation and kind of made it a queen sound and four years later uh it gets released as part of this album and as i read into these lyrics they're just heartwarming and uh, like i said uh when you think about the context in which this was written it's it's just gut-wrenching and um it just connects me to freddie's work in a way that um I don't think that I have been before. So uh, I am eager to listen to this. I hope you are as well. It's a relatively short song. So let's see what this is all about. This is A Winter's Tale by Queen from their 1995 album, Made in Heaven. Here we go. A Winter's Tale. I wonder if that's his handwriting. Oh, Freddie. It's winter fall. Red skies are gleaming. Red skies are gleaming. Oh! Mm. Seagulls are flying over. Even in his last days, his voice is still his. Swans are floating by. Smoking chimney tops. Am I dreaming? Oh, that's interesting. Am I dreaming? Goes to minor one when he says, Am I dreaming? Back to the five. The night's drawing. They're in F sharp. There's a silky moon up in the sky. Silky moon up in the sky. Yeah! Awesome. Children are fantasizing. Grown ups are standing by. What a super feat. Wonderful ballad. Am I dreaming? There's flat three. The Am A chord. That goes to four. Whoa, 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 whoa. And it resolves to E, so, so they change keys. There's a 
kind of magic. They went back up to F sharp. How'd they do that? With the dreams of the world in the palm of your hand. I think that was, it sounded like a fully diminished seventh chord with the F sharp on top. That would make that A fully diminished. Huh. Mm. To think that all of this was added later on. It's gonna do that same move back to E. Down a step from where they are my work. That's how they do it. Yeah, that's really cool. I'll, talk, I'll tell you about it later. Back in F sharp. Extraordinary place. And the dream of the child is the hope. get back to F sharp. Wow. Janine, that's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. It's a short song, y'all. I need to listen to it again because they did a few little things in there that are really harmonically interest interesting. Let let's hear it again, okay? All right. So there's a winter's tale again. And Freddy's gonna wink at us like he's got something up his sleeve. It's winter fall. Red skies are clean. So they're in F sharp here at the beginning. Oh, seagulls are flying over. It's like an augmented chord on flat two on the G. Smoke like back to the two chord of G sharp. And then it goes to minor one which allows an A natural to be in that chord. And then they move to an A chord here. It's like F sharp A to C sharp to the five. And then back where they came from to do another verse. There's a silky moon up in the sky. Yeah. Children are fantasizing. It's amazing to me how his voice even this close to death is still as super powerful as it is. Am I dreaming? So there goes flat three, the A chord, which Am becomes four to the five B chord, which is five and E. And that's where they get to the chorus. Down a step from where they were. Down to six, the C sharp. And then they go up to D sharp, but they make it a minor chord, which is the six chord in the new back up to F sharp. That's how they get back, I think. And then they, they, that high, hang on a second. That high note is an F sharp. And then they move the chord and it's the, so I'm going by the sound of it. It sounds like a fully diminished seventh chord. And if the F sharp is the top note, then that would make the other notes in that chord an A, a C, a D sharp, and an F sharp. And then they use that as like a like a a common tone diminished chord to sort of tonicize F sharp, 
or or uh, hasten this arrival back on F sharp. Really, really uh, an interesting and lovely, uh, melancholy little harmonic move there. Off we go. And then they're in F sharp for this little solo section. That sounds like flat three, that A chord. And then that becomes four to five. So they're just moving everything down a step, and then it resolves to E. It's, hang on a sec. It sounds so warm and inviting because they've been up in F sharp, and then everything just, and, and that E major chord is in. Uh, it's a flat seven in F sharp major. If you're in F sharp minor, it's just the flat seven, but it's, it's, it's sort of sinking into home. And it's so quiet and peaceful, dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. And a cozy fireside chat, the, it, it all works. It's such a perfect little move harmonically uh, that uh, I, I really, really am enjoying. Uh, as we continue. Cozy fireside chat. A little this, a little that. Sound of merry laughter, skip it fast. Yeah, and that's where they use that move back to F sharp. And the, the dream of the child is the hope of man. It's a reference to Christmas. And that's a D sharp or it's E flat 7 chord. So and they move to A flat. Like a landscape you think G sharp is a step up from where they had been. So it's moving, it's always on the move, harmonically. Even though the, the melody and progressions are relatively, you know, being reused. My world is spinning. There's that minor one to the flat three. Flat six. Ooh, it's bliss. And then they're back in F sharp. So those three chords at the end would have been, I need to think about what, let, let's use sharps. It would have been G sharp uh, minor that he was landing on with those last words. Sends me reeling, am I dreaming, am I dreaming? And then he goes, ooh, it's bliss. So you've got that G sharp minor chord, and then they went up to uh, a B major chord, right? So if you're in G sharp minor, that makes the B chord a uh, a three chord, right? Uh, they are related, right? G sharp and B. Yeah, if you think of a G sharp minor and B major as relative major and minor keys, but what they're doing, he started on the G sharp chord and then went to the B chord and then went up to a D chord. That's three or hmm, it's two moves they went up by a minor third then up by a minor third again again it's outlining the the roots of those chords are outlining a diminished triad and they've used some diminished chords in this some fully diminished chords in this and then once they get to d that's flat six back up to f sharp and then they end it there instead of in g sharp where they had been or where they moved to for that last verse that's harmonically very very interesting much more uh interesting and complicated than I was expecting for this to be. And quite frankly, Freddie's voice was much more powerful and high in his range and just like always than I was expecting. Of course, I mean, Freddie is Freddie, so I should have been expecting Freddie to always be Freddie, no matter if he was at the top of his game or just barely getting enough energy to, to get through a take. Wow, what a, I mean, what a legacy that this band and Freddie specifically has, has left us with. Uh, I think it's still a wonderful time for us to, to include this because there's this reference to Christmas, right? It's uh, Epiphany is tomorrow, so it's the 11th day of Christmas, if y'all are still counting. 
and then it's called a winter's tale. And, and in the northern hemisphere, at least, there's a lot of winter happening uh, around here, especially in, in America right now. But uh, I, I can't believe that I didn't know that this existed. I, I love that. I need to listen to this album. Um, that was just a really wonderful ballad. So um, thank you, Janine, for, uh, for suggesting that for us today. I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, wonderful stuff. We've got more coming for you in the coming days and in the coming weeks. So I appreciate y'all hanging out with us and going on this musical journey with us as we continue on. That's all for today. We will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.